most respected monastic patriarch of the Taiwan Sangha, most venerable Liao Chung, the president of World Buddhist Sangha Council (WBSC) and the chief abbot of Shan Dao Temple, Taipei, Taiwan, passed away in Shan Dao Temple of Taipei, Taiwan, on today, March 9, 2022. Most venerable Liao Chung was 91 years old when he passed away. To follow his instructions before he is dying, there will be no funeral ceremony scheduled to be held. The cremation ceremony will be held on March 22, 2022, and the body will be enshrined at Shan Dao Temple of Taipei, Taiwan. A lifetime member of the World Buddhist Sangha Council WBSC, most venerable Dr. Galudita Maha Naika Thero has expressed his deepest condolences on the demise of the President of World Buddhist Sangha Council WBSC, and the Chief Abbot of Shan Dao Temple, Taipei, Taiwan Most Venerable Liao Chung. Most Venerable Liao Chung Elder was born in Taizhou City, Jiangsu Province, on October 28, 1932. The common surname is Zhou, and the name of the monk is in the middle. The elder has an excellent memory since he was a child, and his reading is almost unforgettable. At the age of nine, he became a monk at the Fawa Nunnery, now Fawa Temple in Taizhou, Taizhou, under the name of Venerable Yuanqing. At the age of eleven, he entered Jiangyan Fawa Primary School, at the age of 20, he went to study at Guangxiao Temple Buddhist College in Taizhou. Always at the top of the class. In 1947, he received full ordination at Nanjing Gulin Temple, and successively traveled to Nanjing Qixia Buddhist College and Shanghai Jingen Buddhist College. In 1961, he went to Fuso in the east, he studied at Risho University in Tokyo for eight years, obtained a Master of Arts and completed a doctoral course. He has successively served as the academic director of Taishu Buddhist College in Taiwan and a lecturer in the Department of Philosophy of Cultural University. In 1970, he founded the Faizong Buddhist College and served as the dean. Since 1977, Elder Liaozhong has been the Secretary General of the Chinese Buddhist Association in Taiwan for 15 years. During his tenure, he completed the organization of membership, the rectification and expansion of conference affairs, and established various sound systems. In 1985, he was hired as the abbot of Taipei Huayan Lotus Society, in 1987 he was hired as the abbot of Shandao Temple, the first temple in Taipei, and in 1997, he served as the chairman and abbot of Shandao Temple. In 1986, the World Buddhist Sangha Association held its fourth general assembly in Bangkok, Thailand. The president, Bai Shen, nominated the Middle Elder as the Chinese Secretary General and jointly promoted the conference affairs of the World Buddhist Sangha Association with the English Secretary General Dr. Wei Bo La Serra. In 2000, the 7th Congress of the World Buddhist Sangha Association was held in Taiwan, and Elder Laozhong was honored as the president of the World Buddhist Sangha Association. In 1997, Elder Liaozhong founded Xuanzang University. At the beginning of the school, he was greatly assisted by the then president of the Buddhist Association of China Zhao Puchu. The group went to Nanjing Linggu Temple, welcomed the pastoral bone relic of Master Xuanzang Sanzang back to Taiwan, and enshrined it in the Sanzang Hall of the White Saint Memorial Building of Xuanzang University, as a treasure of the town school. On April 22, 2020, with an incomparably serious mood, the elders of Liaozhong handed over the authentic parietal bone relic of Master Xuanzang, who was invited to Linggu Temple in Nanjing, to the current chairman, 
Master Shengguang. Since 1988, the elders of Liaozhong have returned to the motherland many times to find their roots and ancestors. In April 2001, the elders of the middle school presented a Burmese Sua Jade Jade Buddha to the ancestral temple Fahua Temple, which was 1.3 meters high and weighed 450 kilograms on October 24th of that year, he personally presided over the opening ceremony of the Jade Buddha. In 2008, funds were raised to support the reconstruction of Fawa Temple. In 2010, Elder Liaozhong presented three Golden Buddha statues in Fahua Temple, which were placed in the newly built Mahavira Hall of the temple. In 2013, Elder Liaozhong led a delegation to visit the Buddhist Association of China. During the discussion and exchange, he expressed his gratitude to the Buddhist Association of China and the late former president of the Buddhist Association of China for their help and support in the preparation of Xuanzang University. Elder Liaozhong said that over the years, the friendly exchanges between the Buddhist circles on both sides of the strait have achieved fruitful results, which cannot be separated from the support of the Buddhist Association of China for the exchanges and cooperation between the Buddhist circles on both sides of the strait. On October 12, 2013, the president of the Taiwan World Buddhist Sangha Association and his delegation visited the Buddhist Association of China and the elder Chuan Yin presented the calligraphy to the elder. On May 7, 2014, Xuanzang University held the Buddha bathing ceremony. After the ceremony, the elders of Liaozhong and the distinguished guests of the Xinchu City Buddhist Association took a leisurely tour of the famous police officer in the campus, Xingxin Lake. On November 9, 2015, the 84-year-old elder Lu Zhong said humorously at the second board of directors of the 10th Xuanzang Cultural and Educational Foundation, if you do it, you will die, if you don't do it, you will die, instead of waiting for death if you don't do it, it is better to do it. To death. With the encouragement of the middle-aged elders, old G is still in the dark, and the ambition is a thousand miles away. It has lasted for a long time, which is touching. On December 5, 2018, the Abbot Promotion Ceremony was held at Shandao Temple in Taiwan, and Venerable Da Hui took over as the Abbot. From left, Elder Jing Liang, Master Da Hui, and Elder Liaozhong, on March 17, 2020, the elders of Liaozhong made an advance will. Explaining three things. 1. When dying, first aid should not be used in any way to prolong his life and let him go away naturally. 2. When entering extinction, no funerals, no obituaries, no chanting meetings, no ceremonies such as hexagrams and altars. 3. Don't do any Buddhist deeds, such as ritual repentance, burning flames and transcendence. Those who come to offer condolences, please recite the holy name of Avalokitesvara Bodhisattva. The full name of this temple is Pure Land Sect Shandao Temple. It is located at number 23, section 1, Zhongxiao East Road, Taipei City. The Taipei School of Education opened. After the liberation in 1945, the Taipei City Government Education Bureau took over it according to law, and in 1948, it was handed over to Layman Li Ziquan to take over. From 1948 to 1954, Daxing, Zhangjia, Nanting and Inshan were successively hired as tutors. In 1954, it was approved and changed its name to Taipei Pure Land Sect Shandao Temple. After 1956, it was changed to be managed by abbots, and eight domestic sangha and great virtues were successively hired as abbots. 
The succession of the abbots of this monastery is based on the Ten Direction Jungle System. And the abbots' ordained disciples are not passed on. Sanghas from the Ten Direction Dao Laju are selected to be the abbots of the monastery. Therefore, the previous abbots of this monastery have no teacher-disciple relationship. This temple enshrines the relics of Sakyamuni Buddha, which were originally collected by the ancient stupa of Mahayangana Rajamaha Viharaya in Sri Lanka. In 1988, two relics were invited from the temple museum and presented to the temple for worship. In May of that year on the 29th, when the Buddha's relic arrived at the National Gate, thousands of people greeted it at Taoyuan Airport. The temple was held in the Dashyong Hall for three days. More than tens of thousands of people paid their respects devoutly, and then they were placed in the relic stupa. On important special Buddhist festivals, the pagoda was opened for display. In order to pay homage to and bask in the Buddha's light together,